Hey guys, Ru here with Not Avid for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the importance of edge flow. You can see here we got two cubes and they've been just battled differently, and the edge flow is different. So let me show you what I mean. If I'm gonna grab this cube and you know drop it in here and shift the X to duplicate it, we're gonna just simply create a different edge flow on each of them. So for instance, here, if I'm going to select these two edges and these two edges and control B to chamfer them and then select this one and control B, right? I'm gonna get the edge flow this way, right? However, if I'm going to uh, select these three edges and chamfer them first and then select these and chamfer them second, you can see that the edge flow is different because it actually flows this way. So for example, if I'm going to click in here and you know fuse it with machine uh, mesh machine and copy this, I'm gonna get something like this, but what I can do here, uh, I can select this one and fuse it, and I'm gonna get something like this. So you can see that the, uh, there's, it's really important to understand which way, which direction you wanna run your bevels through or chamfers, uh, because it will determine the, uh, the edge flow on your object. So when you construct something a bit more complicated, make sure that you pay attention to how you want your bevels to look because depending on what kind of uh, design you're going for you can achieve different results you know for example if you're gonna do something like this here right so let's uh move it up and we're gonna chamfer these two right and then let's say we're gonna chamfer these two um to the bottom now we got the uh, edge flow on the side however we could also um you know for example merge it in here and move it forward right like this and then our edge flow is here so it really depends you know how you want to run your um yeah, run your edges and what you want to achieve in terms of design because depending on how you're going to run your edges your edge flow is going to be different so this one doesn't really work here because the angle is too steep so what i would need to do is select these edges and these edges and mark them all the time there we go and switch the bevel to uh, weight so boom I should work there you go so again um, it really depends on you know how you want to uh, run your edges you're gonna you know achieve different results and sometimes you're gonna you know create some really cool shapes uh, with a very simple uh, you know very simple method and you can still you know keep adjusting this uh, you know the way you want and keep sort of refining the, the the design but you know you can see that with simply pulling two edges and adding some simple bevels you can create some really cool um, shapes anyway guys hope it helps you out thanks for watching give us a like and sub if you enjoyed the video and i catch you in the next one